Uh, greetings everyone, it's Mr. Lajai here and welcome to Back to Basic. Look, what I want us to do uh, today is I want us to learn in terms of how can we prove our proportionality theorem, right? Now, before we even go into the details of proving proportionality theorem, firstly, I want us to have an understanding of what does proportionality uh, state, right? So basically, it states that a line drawn uh, parallel to the other side of the triangle divides the two triangle uh, or rather divide the two sides in proportion out again so which means uh, when they say in proportion basically they are going to be the same in ratio but not necessarily in length right so let's see now look what is that we are given we are given that you're having triangle abc with the line that is going to parallel de and bc now we are required to prove that AD over uh, DP is equals to AE over uh, EC. Now let's see in terms of what is that we can do now first. Uh, in order for us to prove this, right? Uh, in order for us to prove, firstly, we are going to construct, right? We're going to have construction, right? So we are going to construct. Now, how do you go about constructing, right? So you are are uh, firstly going to what you are going to firstly join you are going to join what you are going to join b e and also d c all together i are going to join b e and d r uh, c all together so which means now this is going to be the lines that you are going to join let's uh let's let me just like that yes and like that right yes and then after, what else are you then going to construct? Now, from there, what you are going to construct, you are going to construct two heights, right? You are going to draw, uh, firstly, you are going to, again, draw a height, draw height relatively, uh, draw a height relatively to what? Relative to A, B, right? Or rather, yes, relative to A, D, right? You are going to draw a height relative, to ad right so which means you are going to draw a perpendicular height starting from uh this particular point let's say this is going to be your height your height yes and your line must be straight right and then you can name this particular uh height to be your height what uh let's make this our height to be our height k right oh it's good so let's make this our height to be what our height h let's start with h so this is going to be our height h and now uh, again you're going to draw relative height to uh 80 which is going to be which is relative height what height h relative to 18 and you are also going to what you are also going to draw another height right you're going to also draw height what this is going to be your height k relative to a e relative to a e out okay. so which means you're going to come out uh, again and draw a height here that is going to be relative to this right which is going to be your height k and now from there what is it that you are going to do now are you going to try and understand the areas of this particular triangle right so already you know this is going to be your, your triangle and you know what is going to be the area of your triangle right remember that the formula for area it is given by a half uh, base multiplied by height. Remember, that's the formula for your, uh, your triangles, right? So, which means you're going to say now, the area, you're going to look at the area of triangle ADE, triangle ADE, right? And what is going to be the area of triangle ADE? This is going to be close to 1 over 2. What is going to be your base, right? If the height is here, if the height is here, which means your base, you're going to make your base to be your AD. And also multiply the height, the newly defined height, which is your age that you drew. All right, okay. And now from here, what else are you then going to do? Then you are going to divide this, right? You are going to say divide by what? Divide by the area, right? You are going to divide by the area of what? The area of triangle R, your A, D, E. All right, okay. You are going to divide it by your area of triangle A, uh, D, E. Right? Oh, the first one was A D E and now it's going to be B R D E. Yes. This small Ayana triangle here, right? This triangle that is starting from here, here, and also here, right? So which means you are going to then divide this with an area of triangle. What? 
the area of triangle D E B. Why D E B? Because because all of these are going to be sharing. Remember, uh, in your uh, uh, in your triangle. Let's say you are having this weirdly drawn triangle, right? Uh, now, uh, let me just write this again. Let's say you are having this weirdly drawn triangle. The triangle where basically you do not necessarily have uh, a straight height. Now, in order for you to construct your height, what is it that you do? You're basically going to come here and construct a height here. Oh, together. So that's going to be the same thing with your triangle uh, D, E, P, right? The, the height H, it is going to be this particular height, right? Oh, together. So which means this is going to 1 over 2 multiplied by what? This is going to be, what is the base? The base of this is uh, D, P. Oh, together. The base is D, P multiplied by what is going to be your height? Your height is still going to be your height H, right? And then now, what else then are we going to do from there? Now, look, what is it that you're going to have here? The 1 over 2 are going to cancel each other. The H and H are going to cancel each other because you are dividing, which means here you are going to only be left with AD over what? Over DP. All together, which means the area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DEP is equal to AD over DP. We are saying, look, we are focusing on this uh, side your a d and also side what and side d r b all together so which means now we are going to now come and examine this particular side right remember the, the uh we want to prove proportionality on these sides right so now what is it that you are going to do from there now right uh you are going to say now starting from here you are going to look at area of now, the same triangle, which your triangle ADE, right? Your triangle ADE, uh, what? This, your area of triangle ADE, now it's going to be cos what? Now we are looking at this side. So it's going to be 1 over 2 multiplied by what? Multiplied by AE, right? Multiplied by AE. Okay. This is AD multiplied by AE. Yes. Multiplied by height K. Remember here you're having height K. Uh, then you are going to divide everything now. You are going to say again, you are going to look at the area uh, of which particular triangle. Now you are looking at triangle EDC. Can you look at triangle EDC? Can you see triangle A E D C? Yes, that's going to be the one. Uh, the area of triangle EDC. Now, what is it that you are going to have? This is going to be, uh, this is going to be equal to what? This is going to be equal to 1 over 2 again. Multiply by what? This is going to multiply by EC, which is your base, and multiply by what? This is EC. Look at me. You're going to multiply this by EC. Multiply by what? Multiply by height K because this is going to be the still setup. This is going to be the same triangle. Let's say this is your triangle. What? This is the same triangle where you're having your uh, your C, your E, and also your D. Okay. So now, what is it that you're going to have here? When you are dividing this two, the 1 over 2 and the 1 over 2 are going to cancel. The K and the K are going to cancel, which means this is going to be AE over your what? Over your EC. Okay. Now, that's going to be the first thing. Now, what is it that you are going to need, uh, take note of this? Uh, now, in both of these, can you see that uh, in what we are proving, in both of these sides, we are, we are having the triangle that is going to be the same, right? So, for an example, you are going to state that now the area of triangle, what the area of triangle ADE, ADE is what is common, isn't it so? Because in both of these, right, let me just get another color. In both of these, you had your triangle ADE and you also had your triangle AD, which means in both of these, uh, your area of this particular triangle or that particular triangle, it is common, right? Uh, so now what is it that we are saying here? Now we can come to a conclusion that look, our area, the area of, uh, the area of what? Of triangle, uh, the area of triangle, what? DPE, right? DPE is going to be close to what? Is going to be the area of triangle, what? It's going to be the area of what? Triangle uh, CDE, right? We are saying this small triangle, the area of triangle DEP 
is going to be close to the area of triangle what uh it's going to be the area of triangle c d e right c d e right i would again look because of these are going to uh be sharing the same uh or rather they are going to be equal to the same what the area of the same triangle remember we said triangle a e d or rather triangle a d e yes was common right and both of these triangles were in proportion to this particular triangle so therefore we can conclude that this triangle here let me just try and write it with a, a different card right this triangle here right the triangle here is going to be equal to what is going to be equal to this particular triangle here Yes, this particular triangle here. So basically, that's what we mean when we are saying that it's equal to this particular triangle because both of them are equal to the what? The area is in proportion with the same triangle that is above, right? Then now, what is going to be the reason behind that? Now, the reason is going to be the same base DE. Oh, it's okay. So they are having the same base DE. Can you see that they have the same base D in uh, and what? And it is in between parallel and uh, between what? And between parallel lines, right? Let's just continue this particular proof of ours in here, right? Same base and what? And between same parallel lines, right? And between uh, between uh, same parallel lines, or rather between uh, parallel lines. Oh, it's okay. Because if you can look at this particular triangle, all of them are in between this particular parallel lines. And now all of them are sharing this base DE because in both of these particular triangles, you have your DE. Oh, it's okay. So that's the reason we are saying the area of this particular triangle, they are going to be the same. Oh, it's okay. Now, uh, and then after that, what else are we going to do? Oh, another thing. Look, even if let's say we wanted to plot our height here, Let's say we wanted to uh, plot our height here, right? Let's say we also wanted to plot our height here. Can you see that both of these triangles were going to have the same height? Oh, it's okay. So which indeed proves that these particular, uh, you know, triangles are going to be uh, equal in what? In their area. Now, after that, what is it that you're going to do? Now, I want you to now take note of this. You are going to say, look, the area. Now, the area of triangle what the area of triangle a d e the area of triangle a d e uh, is going to be equal to what over the area of uh over the area of triangle d or rather b let's start with b d e uh is going to be equal to what is equal to the area of which particular triangle the area of a d e over your what over your area of what over your area of triangle what of triangle c d e c d e out again so basically we are equating the areas of these particular triangles that we found in here right this area that we found in here to be now equal to the area that we found in here out again that's what basically we are doing here right and then now what does that that mean then now you can uh come to your conclusion that look now, therefore, if that's the case, remember, because all of them are equals to ADE, out again. So, therefore, you can come to conclusion that, yes, now my AD, which means my line AD here, is in proportion, what? Uh, my line AD over what? Over my DB, right? My AD over my DB is going to be in proportion with my AE over what? Over my CE. My AE over what? over my CE, how to get, then uh, that's going to be our proportionality theorem, how to get. So basically, this is how we go about when we want to prove our proportionality theorem. Hopefully, this makes sense to you. And thank you very much.